And finally, we are going to be working on the foam. The foam will be building up the blade, the handguard, the handle, and the pommel. And the only thing that it will not be building as of right now is the stabbing tip. And this is just the basics of the weapon. We're going to get to finishing up the weapon by clothing it and plastic dipping it later. Uh, the type of foam that you will use you can find at Walmart. It's called Blue Foam or Ozark Blue Camp Pad. Uh, these go for about $7 and they are 72 inches long and 20 inches wide to get you quite a decent amount of weapons out of this one roll of blue foam. Whenever you're starting out, you only need one for about five weapons or so. So for seven bucks, that's not too shabby. Now what you're going to want to do whenever you lay out the blue foam is most of the time I end up either putting weights on one end or the other to make it lay flat, or I have one already rolled up in the opposite direction that it came in so it, whenever I lay it out, it lays out flat because otherwise it's going to try and curl back up into the roll that it was before. The next thing that you want to do is you want to mark out the strips of blue foam that you will be using to build up the blade. The measurements that I use is one inch and one and three-fourths inch. A lot of people use one inch and two inch because it fits it rather perfectly, as opposed to if I use the blade that's one and three-fourths inch wide, it will hug the PVC pipe a little bit tighter and therefore hold a little bit stronger than if I just laid them on top of the PVC pipe. Uh, and I'll be showing you that in a bit here. The way that I uh, mark out my blue foam is by using a fabric ruler. These things you can get at Joann's, any place that sells fabric and fabric supplies. These actually go for quite a bit of money for a strip of plastic with some paint on it. They uh, they work out really well. I usually buy the 4 inch wide and 36 inch length because all I need is 1 inch and 1 and 3 fourths inch for most of what I do. You can always buy different sizes. There's all sorts of different sizes and shapes for the specific things that you need to build. But this ruler will allow me within two tries to get one strip completely done and I can just line up where I need it to be, and I'll show you that in just a second here. As you can see here, I've lined up one inch, uh, and this is gonna be very difficult to do with only one hand, because I don't have anybody here to help me film, but uh, you go to the edge, and you draw straight down, and you will eventually, yeah, as I said, it's very difficult with one hand, you'll eventually go all the way down the line and make a strip of one inch. Now that you got your blue foam marked out into one inch and one and three fourths inch strips, what you then do is you have to cut them out. One of the ways that you can cut them out is by using a razor or basically anything sharp, but what I use is just an old pair of scissors. I found out that whenever I use a razor or anything this really quick, just the slightest twitch of my hand, the slightest mistake in a movement just destroys a strip. So scissors are more so my speed than anything else. but. You just cut out the strips in whatever way that you wish, and uh, we'll move on to the next step. But I'll fast forward through me cutting out these strips. By the way, I cut two strips of each, so two strips one inch, two strips one and three-fourths inch. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take your PVC pipe, cut out blue foam just as long as your blade. So you're going to, the way that I do this, is I take the blue foam such as, and cut it such as. I give myself a little bit of extra wiggle room because you can always cut off excess blue foam. Adding on more blue foam is a bit more difficult. You want to make sure the tops and bottoms are very even. This comes this comes into play uh, a little bit later. You're going to want four strips of one and three fourths inch. You're going to want two strips of one inch that is just as long as the blade on your PVC pipe. 
And usually what I'll do is I'll just use the first one that I cut as an example because it's a little bit easier than uh, going back to the PVC pipe over and over again. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're also, while you're cutting out blue foam, make the pommel wrap. And what we will be using is the one and three fourths once again. The way that I do it is I will end up clipping off the edge right here. And like such, making it nice and even to where it has that kind of edge to it. And we'll then take this and we'll wrap it around the core. And I will do this twice. I'm building up the, the pommel so that I may cut it down like a sculptor would. Cut off the excess. So you're going to want to wrap it around twice. So that means you're going to match it up to this point here. Then you're going to take your sharpie real quick. You're going to mark out where the edge of it is. Boom. And you're going to want to put a big no for no dab on this side, which is the adhesive that we will be using. So no adhesive on this side. And now, you have a uh, pommel wrap, and you're going to adhesive this side and this side, and we'll get to it, but not this side. Now that you got all your strips cut out, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make some brushes to brush on the adhesive. The nice expensive brushes that I use are blue foam, in fact, the excess strips that I have. Um, I'll cut them off nice and even, and now you have a brush, the specific size that you need as well. You'll use this for one inch, and then you will use this for one and three fourths inch. Boom. The thing with using other brushes is the fact that if you use other brushes, you will undoubtedly ruin it. 